Hi, my name is Teffy. And I decided to cut up some questions and ask my friends these questions out of a bowl with two little... It's super cute. It is so cute. Did you get cute. this from Coming Soon New York? Yes. This is Kelsey. <laughs> Hi. It's my friend Kelsey. This is yours. Break that fourth wall. There you go. And uh, basically, these are uh, questions that past people, our past guests. Okay. You know, you just met Jake, mm -hmm. octopus lover. Yes. I called him pussy lover the first time. <laughs> <laughs> he was like, that's actually like the one thing I'm not. I'm like, mm -mm. I'm surprised I, I would have called him that too. Pussy lover. Yeah. Um, <laughs> attention pussies. I can't. He's the sweetest baby. But uh, tense up. Tentacles. Tense up. Mm -hmm. Yeah, tense up, obviously. See, that I know. And uh, but, so past guests also have left questions for you in case you get them. Okay. But this oh God. is my Super Bowl. You get it? Good. <laughs> that was a mess. I love that. Well, that was a mess, but we're bohemian. I'm in a long skirt. You do look very like laid back, relaxed, Yeah, like and I'm a diagnosed control freak. Well, you know, you're not looking like it. You look super chill. I look super chill. I didn't moisturize my feet, though. I'm kind of upset about it. I just want a my sweet feet. <laughs> They look good. I told somebody that I did. you moisturize your feet a lot? Well, yeah. Don't you get dry in the crevices? Just me, huh? I must have killed a pope in my past fucking life. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I was, one of my, uh, unfortunately, um, one of my most popular TikToks is when I told uh, people that my best friend growing up, Chloe, um, went on my AIM and um, left my away message for hours, BRB shaving my toes. <laughs> you know, it's so fucked up. I was shaving my toes. Oh, I was shaving no. my toes. And I, was, and I bring that. Yeah, I just went to her wedding. <laughs> <laughs> Congratulations, Chloe. Congratulations, Chloe. I know. We love you, Coco. Um, but yeah, that's probably why she's married. Um, do you have bald feet as well? I would say I give it a little shave every once in a while. But Do you like have one nipple not, hair? I have a couple. Because you shaved it once in eighth grade, and now we pay for it forever? I didn't know. They know. Naturally. Yeah. Let's pick yeah. Up. The more you know. <laughs> There's one on each. There's one on each. Even. If the last, <laughs> see, that's the thing. You may be bohemian, but you're, you're symmetrical. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Okay, so this is the thing. We're going to pick a question oh my out God, of the I'm bowl, so excited. And then it's for you to answer first. Or you, or you can interrupt me when it's my turn too. It's, this is like your show. Yeah. Okay. This is Kelsey Super Bowl. I'm excited. Okay, mm -hmm. here we go. There you go. Rough it up. Mm hmm. <gasps> Chosen. Be honest. Okay. Would it really be that bad if people saw your nudes? <laughs> I, say, I say this all the time. Go this picture is insane. A picture. A picture. No, the picture this in your mind. Question. Yeah, the pictures I'm remembering. Mm -hmm. You know, I guess not. It would just be like, like for me in my mind, I'm like those bitches are a one. You Listen, know what I mean? I like really have never taken a nude. No. No. <laughs> How long have you been with Cody? Like five years. You've never taken a nude. No, we spend like a lot of time together. Like he Australia. doesn't need. Yeah, like the time we went to Australia <laughs> together, which I just came back from. Mm -hmm. But like. I feel like if I sent him a nude, he'd be like in the kitchen. Oh yeah. And I'd be like, it's not like. Yay. What if he was like at work? Is that work at home? Like what? When he's going to record his podcast, mm -hmm. like I can he can like live without a nude of mine for like a day or for like an hour. Like I don't yeah. I don't know. I feel like I also have nudes like for me. I think like. I, the closest thing I have to nudes are just pictures that where I was like, I look good, and I just yeah. took a picture of myself yeah. in the mirror. Mm -hmm. Like I, like after when you were training. Yeah. And you would take a pic, and you're like, holy. Yeah, shit. yeah, yeah. Yeah. Like those I have, I and I wouldn't be sad if those got. Yeah, no, that out there. I mean, it would be, it would suck. It would suck to think that like people that like my mom works with. That's could where see I. Them. That's what I struggle with is my parents and my parents. Colleagues. Yeah, I don't want that to happen. Or That's, like my brother's friends. Oh my god. Would that be like a dream fucking come true or for my you, weirdo? <laughs> or, your, or your brother. <laughs> well, my poor brother. Like, like I, he, my poor brother, we, I walked around like a sheer bra. Like he's my little baby brother. He's yeah, six years younger than me. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like my mom telling me like, I think you have to wear a bra now. And I'm like, <laughs> shut the fuck up. Are you serious? Like he was like there for that. You, you know, know what I mean? yeah. See, my brother's two years older. Okay, so that's different. So I'm like his baby sister. Like he doesn't want to see that. No. He doesn't want to think about that. No. He doesn't want to see it. I used to do this thing with my nudes where I would, um, I would, uh, 
Photoshop, not Photoshop myself, but like cut myself out on my Snapchat scissor, you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Into like a museum and like send them to men. <laughs> no, that's it out. amazing. The last time I sent a nude, I think I got like the double tap thumbs up and I haven't sent one since. Oh no. I, it's like. Wait, why do they ever do that? Do you think I know what demons think? I have no idea. I don't know the process in that. It was horrifying. Okay, did, was it unprompted? Was it random? I mean, when did, did I, I don't usually warn them that. Well, like, were you like, hey, and he was like, we yeah, we weren't sexting. You. We okay. weren't sexting. It was like, uh, he told me he, like he was cleaning his apartment, and I sent him one. And then I said, what the fuck, a thumbs up? And he goes, I told you I was cleaning. <laughs> Wait, oh my God, that is so horrible. And I was like, and I did it in the museum thing, and I was like, oh, that's me. And he goes, no, I know. Stop. That is just getting worse and worse. So keep going. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that one, I was also like, I think feel like other people would like that. You know what I mean? Yeah. What, what, I would have appreciated. Oh my god, it. I should have sent it you to you. You should have sent it to me. Yeah, I didn't know you, but like next time. Next time, yeah. Next time. At the time, I didn't know you. I think it was like 2017, but like. Can me, I tell you though? Mm -hmm. If you do send it to me, mm -hmm. I will just like it for like 15 minutes because just of our for joke. The joke. But then I'll be like, a joke should be funny so to hard. two people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, for who else? Who else needs it to be funny? Me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if I were, actually, I do. I you did used to do that a lot, where it'd be like, should I send this nude and send it to like my friends, and they'd okay, be like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And they would only once have they been like, no, and I'm like, why? They're like, you know, I don't think he needs to like see your vulva, and I'm like, really? Oh, one time I did mm -hmm. send an ex a picture of me because we were on a, he was on a road trip and I was going somewhere for work and I did see tissue paper. <laughs> After I sent it, I saw tissue paper on the... Mm -hmm. Stop. Mm -hmm. He probably didn't notice. Oh, he did. He said, he said, did you just go to the bathroom? <laughs> mm -hmm. So like when people, when people are like, I hope you stay humble. I'm like, oh, I'm, you have no forget. idea how humbled I am beyond career or whatever. No, I, I did before pre-Cody, like mm -hmm. probably like 2016, mm -hmm. I attempted what I thought mm -hmm. was a nude. Why did you? Because I was in underwear that were, <laughs> that were like boy shorts. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. So not no. Nude. This is so embarrassing. Go on. The shirt that I was wearing. Oh, you you were not nude. <laughs> no, no. Took it off. Just didn't take it all the way off. Toss it over my neck. Okay? Oh, like a scarf. Covered like a scarf. Covered my boobs, and took a picture. Nothing was showing. I show more in a bikini. Bikini. You could see the shirt tossed over my. You were neck. giving lazy. You were giving lazy. <laughs> and I was shaking when I. Was <laughs> Like, I thought I was doing, like, the is most scandalous thing. face super serious? Face isn't in it. <laughs> <laughs> face isn't in it because Seventeen Magazine once told me that you should never put your face in a nude. So, obviously, my face is not in it. <laughs> even though it wasn't a nude. It wasn't a nude. It's you. It wasn't even close to a nude. A nude. I should have just put a bikini on. It's you in an outfit. It was me in clothes. It was, it, you were clothed. <laughs> you sent a clothes picture of yourself in boy shorts. And it was, like... So Can like our jean shorts are. <laughs> did he love it? I think he did. Oh my god. He's probably still thinking about it. Should we? Is it okay? Sure, sure. Everything's great. Okay. Okay. Cool. 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 The sound. You're is it because I'm covering up? Because <laughs> you're because you're thinking about my, the nude. Yeah. Oh me, <laughs> me. I'm like, um, what the fuck is wrong with me? Can you see my pee pee in that? No. Well, it's, you're welcome. It's not you. No, oh, I don't okay. think you can. Okay, it's good. not you. Like it was. I was. I was doing the weird thing there. You no. were doing the normal nude thing. I put myself in a museum, Kelsey. That's hilarious. <laughs> I thought so. To make a nude funny and hot is yeah. like brilliant. Like I put myself like on, like I would pose like Venus. Oh my God, I'm such a freak. No, that's hilarious. Oh, that's a two. Two no, out. No, that is really good. I, I'm trying to make it. So also I have other friends who are like in like graphic design and like, you know, like the uh, interior design, like something that's like right. aesthetic. So they make theirs. So romantic. Oh, like lighting and yeah, like mm -hmm. lighting in the tub with like they have like lavender milk uh, in the tub or okay. something like flowers and they're like this. I'm like, the man is gonna zoom in on the titty. Yeah, Don't even that's worry about true. it. Like trying to keep it like sensual. Like one of my friends put her tripod in the bathroom and she had like a steamy shower, so she put her ass in her hands on the glass. <laughs> I'm like. <laughs> I I'm can't like, even imagine like me trying corpse. to do that. Yeah, like, you fucking like, good. <laughs> also, it looks like you have, like, a stalker. Like, it was a ring camera <laughs> that, like, captured it. And you can see, like, the tripod in the mirror. 
That's insane. Is yeah. it okay if I scoot back? Oh yeah, we can scoot back. Let's relax. Let's... Sorry. I know, but I feel my so... My posture's really bad. I feel so little because my um, feet don't touch the ground. Oh, Is this that's how, like... weird. Why would mine? Because you're taller than me. Oh my god. Look how I'm sitting. There we go, there we go. Yeah, you relax, you relax, you relax. Sorry, I just, my posture gets bad, and no, then I hate I watch it. this back, and I'm... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I look crushed by gravity, yeah. you know what I mean? And we're trying to... Gravity. You know? <laughs> <laughs> um, stay the hell away from exactly. me. Exactly. Did I tell you when I um, accidentally... <laughs> he did this too when I first <laughs> met you. I first met Kelsey, and I went to touch her knee, and she went, she went like this. <laughs> I love I love touching like I, it's so you know, nice. When I, I when I was going to the Golden Globes, I took somebody else's luggage from <laughs> luggage. We had the same exact and the same code, and I opened it ready to see like my outfit for Golden Globes. Yeah, and he had a John Mayer CD, <laughs> and I freaked the fuck out because at first I was like, who put a CD in my luggage? <laughs> Also, like, I'm not going to the Golden Globes. They let me in. We, and we were in the viewing room. <laughs> right, exactly. Yeah, yes, exactly. Yeah, we weren't even there. And that's where I met Cody Ko's co host's wife. And she's yeah. so nice. Yeah. What's her name? Alina. Alina. And what's the co host's name again? Noel. Noel, yeah. I love the internet. I'm always on it. Me too. Did Cody tell you what I told him when we first met? That he was like, oh, I've seen your set. I've, yeah. I've used your set. And I said, oh, yeah, let me know if you need any help with YouTube. Yeah, you told me. <laughs> And I looked him up later, I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> I was like, this guy, I made him take a million pictures of me and his wife. And, and another person there, who I won't say, because I'm not tacky. But she didn't go to the Golden Globe, so whatever. Yeah, but like, it's lame. That was so... I didn't get invited. I, you should have seen my face when I was alone in my apartment, like... <laughs> that was a good night. It was a great night. It was a great night. Mm -hmm. And we were there it with my so friend. It was so fun. We were there with my friend Gabby that we love. We love Gabby. We love Gabby. Gabby, I, I love you. What, my assistant's yawning. Are you bored? No, because... Best time ever. My God, I hope so. Jesus. No, I literally told Gabby, I was like, I'm nervous to meet Kelsey. Wait, yeah, really? She did. And I was like, if don't be weird. You were like, she's... She's been cool. You've been great. <laughs> I love you. You're welcome. She's like, I wish I could touch your hand right now. <laughs> yeah. Oh, wait, let me take a question. Sorry, I forgot. Yeah, take one, take one. Take one. I love this. I love it too, especially because I don't remember anything. If you wrote an autobiography today, what would you call it? If I wrote an autobiography today. So um, I am actually writing something, and they were like, do you want to make it a memoir? I'm like, I'm 32. I'm nowhere near that obnoxious. Yeah. You know what I mean? I'll wait till 33. Right. Right. Um, I think I would call it... Um, Hmm. Are you thinking about yours? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm really struggling to think of something. I think I would call mine. Uh, fuck. What would I call mine? Well, I have some. I do have some title ideas. I I have talked about one before. It's called Almost Pretty because I feel like as a woman, you feel like you're almost pretty if you could just okay do this I or like lose that. that. I like that. If you could have this hair or lose that hair here. Yeah. Toes. Mm -hmm. Toes, obviously. Toes. Yeah. Nipples for nipples. me. <laughs> <laughs> I actually have a question here about nipple hair. Hmm. Let's see if we get I it. I get uh, it. Manifestation. <laughs> and uh, I, I think it's like, oh, if I bought this and I lived here, you know, like you could almost yeah, be yeah, yeah. There's, pretty. Yeah. So I think that's what I would call it, but I just don't want my whole life to sound like I've been trying to just be, overcome the idea of like being pretty. So I think it would be, I would call it my mother's daughter. Love, that's I'm my mother's really daughter. good. Does it sound like I died though? Or like I was like no. tortured? Okay, cool. <laughs> Not at all, it sounds like yeah. you like your mom. I do like my mom. Okay. I think she's cool. I think she's- She she's, seems cool. She seems cool, yeah. She To me, she seems cool. I asked her the other day, if she wasn't my mom and like we worked in an office together, would she like me? And she was like, mm. <laughs> I was like, well, okay. Okay, cool, it kill. Honest mm -hmm. queen. Uh, what would your book be? I'm really trying to think about it. I don't know, I talk a lot about how one day, this is, well mm -hmm. this is more just when I get like kind of petty mm -hmm. or something, mm -hmm. and I'm like, one day I'm just gonna write a tell-all book and I'm oh, gonna yeah. be honest about everything and I'm gonna tell, because you know what it is, mm. so many people when you're like, when you're mm -hmm. on the internet, mm -hmm. when you live people in the internet. are all very curious about your life. Oh yeah. And there are just certain things that you don't talk about. Talk about. Yeah. Or you did once and you never will again. Right, mm -hmm. and there's just things that, to keep the world turning, you don't mention. Mm -hmm. Whether it's like how you feel about certain people or like whatever it is, you yeah. just don't really, because why would you? Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
or just stories, interactions you've had, little things. And people things. are like, oh my god, I can't believe that you would, no, no, no. Or yes. like, you guys are friends, and you're like, you don't even know. Or like, you guys aren't friends, like whatever mm -hmm. it is. Mm -hmm. And just, just moments that you've had with people, or whatever it is, and I just feel like there's just certain things that aren't talked about, and so mm -hmm. I really just want to just one day, day, before I, like when I'm just over everything. I hope you call it, I hope you're sitting down for this. That That's is what I'm gonna call it. good. That's fucking That's really good. good, I'll give you like, no, don't give me anything. Give me a free copy. Could you do that? I'll sign it. Thank you. Too. Oh my god. Yeah, I will. <laughs> and I would only say nice things about you because yeah. I love you. Oh, I love you too. I'm obsessed with you. Me I call too. you my wife. I I, I call Cody my sister wife. <laughs> Did you? <laughs> when? When I get, when I talk to Gabby about you, I'm like Cody goes my sister wife, and we're sharing a wife. Yes. <laughs> yes. You are my wife. I picture him like a bonnet. Oh. <laughs> That'd be cute. Because we're in a cult, obviously. Like if we're yeah. sister wives, yeah, yeah, yeah. you know, what I mean? or like somewhere like Utah. But I feel like the state of Utah is like one big cult. That's true. Have you ever met a Mormon? Like, like it's an animal. Yeah. <laughs> I definitely have. I I did too, and I asked them about, about soaking. I did. <laughs> That's exactly what I, That's what I would ask. I said, "Is that true?" And she goes, "Absolutely." Should I explain? That's should you? Awesome. I want you to explain to this camera what soaking is. I think I've done this before. Well. Um, and outside of Mormonism, <laughs> just recreational soaking. Someone asked about it. It's it's when you want to have sex, mm -hmm. but it, that you can't because mm -hmm. that goes against you know like relig what you the believe ism. in. Mm -hmm. And so instead, you you enter the male the male sorry mm -hmm. enters the woman with his mm -hmm. penis, and <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. we have to use medical terms. Yeah, here. we do. We do. And, but you don't move. You just kind of sit there and soak in the beauty of it all. And there's a friend And next Well, there to could you. be. There could be. A friend in the room near the bed, moving the bed, so there's a little bit of motion mm -hmm. in the ocean, mm -hmm. if you will. But it's not your will. But it's not, you, yeah, you're not moving. So you're you, not having sex. You're just, you just happen to find yourself penetrated, kind of attached to this person, but nothing's happening. And then that's soaking. That's soaking. You're yeah. soaking in the beauty of it all. The beauty of it all. Thank mm -hmm. you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I would literally say you're welcome if I ever let somebody soak. But do you know how Mormonism started? Some dude said that in his backyard, he found these gold plates of commandments and told everybody that God gave him these commandments and they asked to see them. And he said, I, I'm not allowed to. I <laughs> never showed anybody. And that's, that's Mormonism. That's awesome, honestly. It's probably so I easy to start a cult. No, you would. <laughs> You would. What would you call your cult? The Kelsinators. That's what I call them now. You, your cult, your current cult? <laughs> yeah. The Those are just the people who watch my YouTube video. I thought it was funny one time and it kind of just I love kind of it. stuck. I love it. So uh, one time on the Teffy show pre-YouTube, I was like, what would my people be called Teffy's Toto? Because the toilets, Toto, but Toto in, in Miami means pee pee. So mm. there is an Instagram called Teffy's Totos. <laughs> yeah. There's also one called oh, Teffy's Mole that I'm like, should I report this? Um, <laughs> That's insane. Thank you. I'm like, singular? Like, <laughs> I'm like, just drawing attention. That's what I find. Do not zoom in. <laughs> Do not. Okay, go for the next one. But yes, people, don't worry about it. I'm not too worried. <laughs> I, nobody knows that you had to premarital soak. I mean, if you're going to buy the car... You gotta soak, soak in it. it one time before. That's what they always say. Mm -hmm. What celebrity would make you feel star starstruck? Mm -hmm. <clears throat> I have two. <clears throat> you have two? Yeah. Has it ever happened? No. Okay, go on. Is one Beyonce? No. Okay. The first one is Taylor Swift. Really? Yeah. Okay. Um, and the other one is Ryan Seacrest. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I can't even explain it myself, but I love him. You love Ryan Seacrest? Yeah. What, tell me where this Have you ever met him? Affinity? No. Oh my god, I was <laughs> no. be so jealous. But I know somebody who used to date him. I used to follow his ex-girlfriend on Instagram just because she Julianne. was... Julianne? Well... That one. I know. Mm -hmm. She's the famous one. She's the famous one. Yeah. Oh, another one pre-Julianne. Yeah. No, after. After Julianne. Okay. I think we might know the same person. We probably do. Okay. Um, have you heard... Well, have you heard bad things? No. So mm -hmm. Ryan Seacrest, mm -hmm. I grew up in LA. Okay. And so every morning going to school, we would listen to his radio show. Oh, yeah. And like, he's just like, and I've just always loved him. Like, I just, not, I don't think he's like, 
I don't think he's not handsome, but I don't I don't like have a crush on him. Yeah. A lot of people confuse it for like a celebrity him. crush. You wouldn't soak with him. I would never soak with mm-hmm. him. No. But yeah. like mentorship. Yeah, I just like I just have always I just feel like he's like my best friend. It's like Oprah, how do you I see love Oprah? Him. Or like Drew Barrymore. Yeah, you know uh, what I mean? Yeah. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So I just have always, you know, just loved him. And I think he's he does so many things. He does so many things, and he also is like executive producer of the Kardashians. And like I all know. These and the thing is, mm-hmm. this is what I love about him. Mm-hmm. I've talked about this on my podcast before, but what I love is that he doesn't have to do his radio show anymore. He doesn't, and he does. And it he either. does because he loves it, and he's always he always just wanted to be a radio DJ. And now he is, and like that is like he just won't give that up. He's so happy, and he's so true to himself he's for that. So, mm-hmm. And I just really love that. I've never heard anything bad about him. I just, I just really love him, and I would love, I would be, I always say if I met, obviously if I met Taylor Swift, I would pass away. You know, my friend is her producer and guitarist, so we could do that. No, no. <laughs> I would cry. You would cry? Yeah. Um, I don't even know if that's his official title. We love you, Mikey. Um, Mikey. My- <laughs> Hi. <laughs> I'm Kelsey. And he has two beautiful cats. You love cats, right? I do. I yeah. have two beautiful cats as well. Yeah, Cassidy and Ghost. And they're both... Cassidy. What are the... What are the they're Siamese. Oh. So they're both... You know how they're bo- uh, uh, that breed is a little cross-eyed? Oh, I die, and they sleep together like this, and no. I'm going to send this to my friend Angie. She would never think that I would bring up her cats, but Mikey is in our friend group, too. Once you're in my friend group and you're dating one of my girls, you're automatically my girl. Duh. For life. Yeah. So Cody, like Cody. Cody's my sister wife. Yeah. He's one of my girls. He's one of your girls. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Right. He just has you right now. You know what I mean? I'm just like one of those. Have you seen, have you seen on TLC? Um, how they have those like polyamorous relationships and uh, it's like a woman with two husbands and one husband is for sex and the other is for company. <laughs> no, I've never seen that but that is so mean. So it's time to go to bed to and they them. say goodnight to him and he goes alone to his room and he like... Which, the sex one or the, the, other, the, the company, company one? one? Mm-hmm. He goes to his room and he's like, and they ask him about it, he's like, no, I'm okay with being alone. And he's like reading his book. It's like Wait, Bridge is, to Terabithia. It it's like... <laughs> It's like Polly something, but if you look it up, I go on the TLC. The, the TLC TikTok means everything to me. Okay. Like the, you know, the identical twins that they talk at the same time or they try to? No. You're you're missing out on a world of chaos. I'm scared though. Or like it's I'll like 90 Day Fiance. In. Yeah, I've never, I've watched a few episodes. Well, it's also like this 80 year old woman from like Sugarfield, Texas is in love with this Egyptian 22 year old man. Okay. With like four teeth. And he's like, I love of you. Course, yeah. But if, and then she comes over, and in one episode, she comes and she's like, uh, When are we gonna get a house together? He goes, No, no, no. And she moves all of her stuff. Her children are so mad at her. She moves all of her things, like thousands of dollars, moves permanently to Morocco, gets the visa. And she goes, Are we gonna get a house together? Are we gonna do whatever? And it's also a, a dry country, so like no alcohol, okay. unless it's like something. Yeah. She asks the, she keeps asking restaurants for margaritas. Stop. They're like, <laughs> No. And, but she, and he's like, no, 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 you're going back after a month. This is just to see if we get along. And she loses her absolute Oh my God. Mind. Wait, this is all on the TikTok? Yes. Ooh. I've never, I don't, who watches cable? You know what I mean? Yes, yeah. Well, right now also I'm watching Jury Duty. Yeah, it's pretty amazing. I do really love that show. Yeah. I'm also watching Vanderpump Rules, so. I have missed out. So I only know, is there a dog here? I only know the clips on TikTok. See, I I only started watching after everything. You said, whoa. I was like, I have to be a part There's of this. There's a world of chaos I'm missing yeah. out on. Okay. So I started watching from the beginning, just for fun. But then I also started watching the recent episodes, so I'm kind of just watching a bunch at the same time. When Lala's like a sex pot? Yeah, mm-hmm. I haven't gotten there yet. Oh, okay. I'm only on season like two. Oh, you three. haven't gotten to Lala? Well, no, I'm on Lala because mm-hmm. I'm also watching the recent episodes. Okay, okay, yeah. okay, but the introduction of Lala. Yeah, so you loving s- Lala, by the way. You saw Stassi Love, slap. Hashtag loving Lala. Hashtag loving Lala. <laughs> let's, uh, uh, loving Lala. Let's give them Lala. <laughs> That's our hashtag, give them Lala. <laughs> give them Lala. Which is amazing. And she's half Brazilian. We love Latinas. Love. Love. But she, uh, she, uh, you saw Stassi slap mm-hmm. Kirsten. Kirsten. I maybe didn't even get there yet. I, I don't, there's no world of spoilers when the show came out in 2013. True, yeah. I said something about The Sopranos and like you ruined it for me and I'm like. No, it's The Sopranos. Yeah, it's fantastic. Yeah. I mean, I would phenomenal. do disgusting things to that man, Tony Soprano. Tony, mm, 
I would have shame you, all my ancestors. But have you seen the TikTok where it's like, he's perfect, and it's like, but he kills people. Uh, yeah, he's yeah. perfect, and he's like him with the ducks. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, he mm -hmm. is, he's every girl's dream. Yeah, truly, and Carmela has them all to Carm. herself. I, well, that and the, like, the Russian hookers in the show. Yeah, well, yeah, yeah, but. You know, whatever. Close your eyes, close one eye. Right, right, right. You know what I mean? He's a good guy. He's a good guy. He's mistaken. He kills people. What do you want? He, no one's perfect. Best of both worlds, only on Hannah Montana, babe. Yeah, you know? babe. Did you watch Hannah Montana growing up? Obviously. I missed out. I was too, I think I missed I out on that. I watched it, and I loved every second of it. Did you see that Nickelodeon is doing a whole rebranding? I, I follow Adweek, and they're doing a whole rebranding where they're going back to its old aesthetic. What's going on? Well, it was so toxic back in the oh, day. Oh, they're not bringing back Red and Stimpy, I don't think. No. Nickelodeon was Which, toxic? Yeah. Like the slime? No. Or the content? Go on. Like the Mr. Mr. Feet Man. What was that big fat oh, guy's yeah. name that was disgusting? <laughs> What's his name? <laughs> yeah, there you go. Yeah. We call the him devil. Uh, that big fat boy. <laughs> big fat feet <laughs> right. boy. Who fucked everyone up. Yeah, I thought you were gonna leave it as fucked. I was like, we don't know, allegedly, allegedly, allegedly. <laughs> no. no, but like sincerely, he was like, a fucking weird yeah, he man. Was awful. No, I think they're going back to their past aesthetic, not old shows. Like I think they're oh, coming back. Oh, like the slime mm -hmm, with the orange mm -hmm, slime. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, oh mm -hmm. love. And like the game. <laughs> Wait, do you remember? <laughs> Sorry, I didn't mean to like go so dark there for a second. Um <laughs> <laughs> that Big, <laughs> big boil of a man. <laughs> no, yeah. Um mm -hmm. wait, so are they wait, was Nick Nickelodeon was the one who had that face. Yeah, it had the face, but that was Nick Jr. With the, what you mean, the talking face that was like blue? No, in, in between oh, every show. Oh yeah, the big a bear in the big blue house. You remember that? Yeah. So sweet. No, but I think they're trying to bring back like um, the old like weirdo. Like I'll show you on Adweek. Like they have like this one girl who puts her head in a hole, and it's like all these dancing hands, like the weirdo stuff that they, they used oh, to do. Okay, that's and, exciting. And I want them to bring back those game shows. You remember where you had to like. It was so fun. Like you eat like ten cupcakes, and then you have to like battle yeah, like yeah, a snowman yes, yes. or whatever, and then you get like slammed into the slime. You have to find like a puzzle piece, yeah. and I want to host it. I want to do it. You should. But I would get too competitive. I'd get in there too. Really? Absolutely. Go down there, like the big mouth with the slime I'm, under it. I'm not competitive. Like I don't even have an ounce. So if we play, it. if we played beer pong, yeah. you would be like. I would be like, it's fine. If, everybody like, have this, a good time. If this means. If it means that much to you to win, like, just go for it. That's the worst thing you can say to a competitive person. I don't feel like I'm competitive. I just want to win. I know, but sometimes I'm playing a game with someone, and I'm like, okay, okay. Well, You're doing far too much here, and if, 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 if this game it means, means this, this much, much yeah. just, you can win. Yeah. And, and it'll be fine. Okay. Well, have you ever played Monopoly? I've never played Monopoly with people. And I, apparently people go crazy. No. See, I, I've had one. I, I played the game of life because I think that it's not competitive, it's nice. Oh, you mean the board game. Yeah. I was like, and you're <laughs> killing it. Oh, yes. No, the, the board game. Yeah. Because well, there's really no, like, competition. You just, like, see how many kids you have and you, like, ride around the car. I feel like the pinnacle of games was Pretty Pretty Princess. I used to play that so long ago, but I barely remember it. Oh, you win the crown at the end. Or Candyland. Mm, and Candyland also, was a good one. Also, Battleship, for me, I think I think it all started with Battleship. I think Battleship brought out a really ugly side to me. You know, I never liked that game. And I don't know if it's just because, like, my brother was older. Oh, and he was, is. like, he would just... Cheat! Yeah. Instead of telling you how to play it, he would look. Probably. Yeah. Maybe that's why I'm not competitive, because, like, I grew up with an older brother yeah. who, like... Sorry, I have white stuff in my. Time. I have the white line, don't, don't I? It's gorgeous. Do I? No, you look great. You don't have a white line. <laughs> look at us. I think it's Y2K trauma from Smackers. Mm. Yeah. I except I would use them now. I would eat it now. Me Do too. you remember? <laughs> Which? The Jessica Simpson body whip. Oh my god. And it turned out to be like so toxic. I don't give a fuck. I no, smelled I, like a Sunday. Yeah. I want oh that my god. back. Like the mousse. I would. I All would of that. Literally shit. pour it all over my body, like Carrie with the pig's blood. I don't know why I went <laughs> yeah. there, but you know, oopsie daisies. Wait, okay, pick another one, pick another one. Wait, which celebrity would make you starstruck? Oh, definitely, I, I, I've said it before, but I'm trying to think of another one. I've said Stevie Nicks before. Britney Spears. Britney, yeah, Britney Jean, um, for Britney sure. Jean. I don't, but I, and I said it too, that I don't think, I feel like she is somebody like, like a shaking chihuahua around people because of yeah. how much has happened to yeah. her, that I would not be able to like, play it cool. Right. Like I would immediately be like. Yeah. Like immediately mm -hmm. and, and she'd be like, oh, 
we can't like yeah. vibe, yeah. you know what right, I mean? Right, right. So like, I, I would not, if I knew that she was in the room, like I would leave, like one of my friends is a huge Prince fan, yeah. and she was a bartender at this bar, and they let everybody know that Prince was leaving. She literally has a Prince tattoo here, oh and she, they told, like she left. She was like, I can't do this, and she left. Like I would, oh, she'd be like, it would okay. ruin everything. Yeah. So I feel like another person for me would probably be Alive or dead? Dead? If I met Lucille Ball, I think I would lose my mind. Yeah. And if I met oh, Carol King, if I met Carol King, right. I would lose it. Okay, that's mm -hmm. a good one. You, you like that one? I do like that one. I, I try to think like Taylor Swift for me for some reason. One, I know she's incredibly famous and successful, and then I know that like I, I always say this on TikTok. I have a hard time writing an Instagram caption, so yeah. like to create like seventeen yes. albums is insane, yeah. especially ones that are like like fantasy, right. crazy. Right. And so I think for me, I see her as like my age. Mm -hmm. If I met people who probably inspired her, like totally. Shania Twain. No, I totally get that, Hill, yeah. I would be like, mm. yeah. if I met Tony Braxton. Would you just lose your shit? You wouldn't matter enough for me. <laughs> I do it all the time. Would you do that to her? I, well, maybe, <laughs> I am. <laughs> I'm, I'm worried that you would. Brian McKnight, though, no, and I used to think Brian McKnight, but now that he has like all of these like uh, issues with his kids, who's has, Brian McKnight? Uh, um, it's unbelievable that we should be apart and undeniable. Da 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 one, you're like a dream come true. Two, just want to be with you. Three, because it's plain to see that you're the only one for me. And five, four, five, four, repeat steps of one through three. Five, make you fall in love with me whenever I so, believe my work. Um, it's done. done. Then I'll start it back at one. <laughs> oh my yeah. god, we hey, hey. fucking killed that. Can we even leave that in there? I think. Hell yeah. Because it was that bad, they won't copyright it. Damn. If so you're good. singing it, they don't copyright. Well, I, I would never make any money because all I do is sing in every single video that I make. Well, because we're so musical. Yes. These bitches are lucky that we're do not you, singers. Do you like musicals? I love Joy personified through song. I love musicals, but I don't so know much. any. I don't listen to them in my spare time. Yeah, that's the one thing that I yeah. feel like people know, like um, the the songs from like Define, Define Gravity. Yeah, I don't. Yeah. Mean, I, if yeah. I heard that right now, I would have no idea. Right. You know no, what I mean? Totally. Brian McKnight, but he has like two Brian McJuniors. A uh, McJuniors. <laughs> McJuniors. He has okay, two McDoubles, McDoubles McSingles. Yeah. He has two Brian McKnight Juniors. Like he has like kids that like he has one kid named Brian Brianna. Juniors. He doesn't talk to. Yeah. Okay. Like, well, you know, you know, he's not Will a good Smith and Jada Smith did that too. Yeah. Well, Jada Pinkett Smith. And, yeah. And then Willow. Willow yeah, and Jaden. Which I think is amazing. I think. Do you have baby names? Yeah. Would, are you, and they're lock and key. I. They're not. I don't want to say them until it's like I would tell you. I would tell you like off camera. Yeah. But I don't mm -hmm. want to like put it out there. I have some, but they're all like Spanish names. And I love like masculine Spanish names. Like yeah. Maria Fernanda, Renata, Antonia, Manuela. Like mm -hmm. Manuela, like that kind of stuff. <laughs> I love the new Manuela. Like, uh, like uh, really uh, heavy, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like Ornella, you know what they're I mean? They're beautiful. They're kind of scary. I, I like want the way them to you scare. say them. Like Estefania Vanegas Pessoa, my name. Mm -hmm. Like that sounds really like, mm. and then you meet me and I'm like, so I like that. Okay. You know what I mean? Yeah. It would backfire on me if I raised like somebody who's like, I don't know, like like a, a UFC fighter. I'd, I'd support <laughs> her, but I'd be like, oh, that's a really strong name. You know, or it, would, Mamoa, work, it you know? would work either way. But mm -hmm. I get what you're saying. Thank you. Mm -hmm. And uh, it, can I ask you about yours? Are they like Lily? Like, are, those, are they in um, that world? I like like boy names for girls. Okay. Mm -hmm. Like my friend Ricky. Yes, mm -hmm. I love that kind mm -hmm. of... R-A-K-K-I. Yeah. Because her dad's name is Richard. Right. Like Willow Smith. Exactly. exactly. And she was yeah. raised in Cape Cod. Can you imagine that life? I cannot. So many chips. So, so many, many chips. I love Cape Cod oh chips. Oh my God. Love, 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 Can love. Can you love. imagine? In my little ketchup soup. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. My friend Ricky hates ketchup. Ricky. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. Wait, that was you? Uh, so now it's my you. turn? Oh, that was me? Starstruck? No, that was you? That was me. Mm -hmm. It's your turn. Okay. Okay. Who are you on the bottom? 
Do you really feel blonde men are attractive? I always. I don't think so. Listen. I don't. I, I, I talked about this before. Robert Redford, young Robert Redford. Okay. Robert Redford A young is, Brad Pitt. Yeah. Young LD. No, not, to, not for me. In Titanic? Mm -mm. I think he was handsome. Come on. I think, I think what was handsome about him was that he was like such a good boy. What about, okay, here's kind of LD in the GG. The Great Gatsby. No. Something about him in that movie just You do love a me. man suited up. You love a suited up man. You I don't know what it is. Because I don't, I don't really find him that attractive. Who in else is your type? Who else is your type? Who's a, who's a celebrity crush? Like mine are like like Harry Styles. There's another question about here saying, would you actually fuck Harry Styles? Yeah. No well, way. No, you don't. No, but <laughs> no. <laughs> I t I tell people I would let him kiss me on the forehead, like walk me in my hotel room and kiss me on the forehead. Okay. And then like close the door. You know why? Mm. I just feel like. I don't think I've ever been honest about this because I think I, I answered this in a past episode where I was like, if you fuck everybody, I just like don't want to do it. I know. I know once we do it, once we soak, like adults do, right. I'm going to be attached. Mm -hmm. And the fact that like you mm -hmm. don't love me, because mm -hmm. immediately, like I'm like, we went on it. I'm European that way, I guess. Yeah. Like we kiss, we went on a date. You're my boyfriend. So my issue with Harry Styles. I'm a lunatic. Is yeah. that, no, I'm, I'm a lunatic, okay? <laughs> okay. I genuinely think he would fall in love with me, and I, do I just don't want to deal with that. Simply, I just, I'm married, and I just know he would fall in love with me. Kelsey, I can see it. I just know he would. Like, I know I'd be like, hey, and I'd be funny, and he'd be and like, like, oh my oh, God, she's married, and, and it's God. like, sorry, babe. He's like, do you want to get in the back of my bar? And I'd be like, I really don't. Because if I actually, if it came down to it, I could never do that to Cody, like if we're actually talking about it. <laughs> like if someone was like, what if Harry Styles walked in this room right now? Like we were talking about it and I was like, I like, I honestly, I could never. But, but he would fall in love with me. I'm not saying I would do it. And it would be like I'm the whole thing would, in your yeah, relationship. And then I'm like, like, whole thing. And I'd be like, and don't like, worry about him, babe. We can't go places he's at because totally. it's awkward between him and Cody. And it's mm -hmm. like, you're in the middle and you're just like. But yeah, well I'm with Cody and I'm yeah. like, Harry. Yeah. He's Jacob, yeah. and, and Cody is Edward. <laughs> exactly. It's hard. It's hard. He is a wolf of a man, I hear. <laughs> <laughs> in the boudoir. Really? Should I leave it? Yeah, leave that in. Fuck it. Let him be. That's, I feel like that's he good should, PR. Yeah. No, you good know what I hear you. is that he is a kind, kind boy. Really? Very kind, kind boy. Yeah, very nice boy. I have so many questions. Go on. I Like, I know him. Does he have a little peepee? -pee? <laughs> no. Because I, I like I actually, to picture that he does. Actually, I've had his number in my phone for a long, long time. I do, I have it. Because my friend was like, just have it. Should you text him? Should we text him right now? Over my dead body because I have this thing where one day he'll be on this show <laughs> and we exchange information and it pops up. Oh my God. I can't text him. You can't. I just have it under Harrison. Wow, mm -hmm. that's crazy. Mm -hmm. We bought. Um, I think he did good. I don't think Harry is like somebody who like loves According to his astrology, so I know him better than his own mother. Mm -hmm. um, I think he's like not in a relationship space where like if you were to leave Cody for him, it just wouldn't be long term. You I know what I mean? I don't even want to. Yeah. Have you thought about it? No. Never. Don't look at the camera when you do that. No. <laughs> <laughs> Wait. Is that your number one like crush? You know who else is up there? Oscar Isaac. Oh, that he is. Mine are Javier I Bardem. Mean... Javier Bardem would. My girl crush is Penelope Cruz, so when they got together, I was like, F fuck my life. Right. And I'm, I'm not good at threesomes. Like, it, my attention, I just like, I'm too much of a people pleaser to like do this. Okay. You know, and I just end up getting stressed. I'm like the Ice Age squirrel in the corner. I'm like, you guys have, are you guys having a good time? Do you need water? Like, I can't do it. And then um, Oscar Isaac. I mean. And Jason Momoa. Can we just talk about Oscar Isaac he for like is a quick second? He is so beautiful. And he went to Juilliard with Jessica Chastain and Viola Davis, I think. He's Viola was beautiful. In he is. You know what it is? He, he has kind eyes. I love a puppy eye. I think Cody has kind eyes. He does. He has kind eyes. And when I met him, I, that was the first thing I noticed. I love that he's my sister wife because I feel like I can tell him anything. You can. Yeah. But, and I think that Oscar Isaac also has those kind of eyes that are just kind. But I also like. He's like that, you know? Yeah, but I think also, what, the thing about Oscar Isaac is that he's also like somebody who's so polite. Yeah. And like, he's so, like Pedro Pascal. I always mix him up with Paul Mescal. What is, is it Paul Mescal? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Jesus fucking Christ. I know, it's like, so, come on. Yeah, too much. Seriously. I, I'm watching Paul Mescal and I'm like, I thought you were Latino. 
And then I'm like, you know what I mean? Isn't he like British? Yeah, yeah. Irish, 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 sorry. sorry. Irish. Sorry. I did an Irish guy for like three weeks. Really? Yeah, like in 2014. Was Paul Mescal um, dating Phoebe Bridgers? Not anymore. She's with Bo No, I know. I saw that. I didn't see that I I was literally looking at Keith and Nicole. I had no idea. I I also love Bo Burnham. Have you met him? No. <laughs> I've never met anyone. I know. <laughs> you keep asking me if I met people. No, well, I think Bo Burnham is someone who like Burnham. Bur- Damn it. Who's Bo Burnham? <laughs> oh, Birmingham, Alabama. Mm. Obviously. Okay, okay. <laughs> yeah. I think Bo is someone it. who is like not to me, I don't think I'm on that YouTube or I don't know him that well, so to me, he's not as famous as he really is. I, but have you ever watched his comedy specials? No. You should. They're hilarious. They're good. So funny. So good. You, I, I did see parts of his um, COVID thing on Ticker Talker. See, that was the most recent one, but watch some of his old ones too. Okay. Like I used to fucking love them, and I, I just watched one recently. You like funny? Do you like you love a funny guy? I do love a funny guy. Do you think Harry Styles is funny in real life? I haven't confirmed. I have no idea. Probably. I mean, like he seems like a charming guy. Like I feel like he's probably not that funny, but he's he would like get a joke. Well, so he's one of those. But so, don't you think? Well, I mean, I don't know. Every relationship has, I feel, a rock and a star. And one is not more important than the other. Like my friend Amber told me this. They are both necessary for this to work. And one person is the person that is a good, like, you, dependable, you know, the person that's like, we are going to, um, I don't know, like, uh, we're paying our taxes. We're, the house is, you know, whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're a safe family home environment. A great per, a great plus one, you know what I yeah, mean? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then there's a star, the person that, like, when you're feeling anxious, the person can take over and do, like, the hello, my baby, hello, my, at, like, a party. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's true. Do you think that with Harry, you'd be the rock or the star? I think you'd be the star. I'd probably be the star. I think you'd be the star. <laughs> Bitch. What can I say? What can you do? Once you're a star, you can't be a rock. You can't. Once you do pre-soak, a post-soak, you can't go back to soak. Exactly. And you, I, and we'll never be that girl again. You're just you were, came out of the womb like this. Who's gonna be my rock? Exactly. But Somewhere. then I also think that sometimes I think Cody's and mine's rock and star switch. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. I, I think don't know. At parties, he's. Yes, that is true. Mm-hmm. And we love that. But not always. Mm. It kind of depends. I also think both times that, both times that mm-hmm. we've hung, well, we what, were out mm-hmm. with you, he was sober. Yes. And so, I was too. <laughs> I was too. <laughs> no, I was for one of them. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. But the other one, I was drinking. Mm-hmm. And so I think that you haven't, you haven't seen both of us. I haven't seen Party Party Cody. You haven't seen Party Party, party. Cody. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So that we switch off. Yeah, well, I think. That's, but that's interchangeable. Rock stars are incredible. That I've is, never had. I've never it's had it's pretty inter- nice, yeah. and I do think it's we balance each other out when like I can be the star if he needs to be the rock, and vice versa. Do you think maybe I'm like making this about people in music in general? Do you think Harry Styles is the kind of guy that's like I want to go now, so we're going now? Ew. Um, probably. I mean, the thing about it is Cause that's he usually my thing. is famous. <laughs> he's mm-hmm. too famous. Mm-hmm. He, no one probably says no to him, right? Mm-hmm. So, like, he's probably not used to having to, like, please anyone else. Mm. Or, like, do anything for someone else. He, mm-hmm. like, gets exactly what he wants all the time. He's, like, one of the most famous people ever. Mm-hmm. So, I, like, th- I think in my world he's not that famous. But I have seen him three times at Madison Square Garden. Yeah. <laughs> so I will but say. like no one's saying no to him. No, 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 no. You know? No, no. So I feel like if he's like, I wanna leave. Well me, I'm saying no to him when he walks me to my hotel room exactly. and, I give him, and he gives right. me a kiss. Because you're scared. I'm so scared. In love with yeah, him. I just don't want to do I get it. And then our friendship, knowing he's thinking about you. <sighs> so true. No. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god, I didn't think about that. Who's a person that you see me dating? I'm dying for a crush. My brother. Everybody wants me to date their brothers. I know. I, I actually knew that that everybody says that to you. <laughs> everybody. But I have one as well. And he's older than you, he's so he's my age. Me. Yeah. So he's 32. He's about to be. I think I saw him in your video. You did. <laughs> I, he's taller than me, and he looks kind of exactly like me. Mm-hmm. So he's perfect. He's perfect. So. Well, does he have any issues with your parents? No. My God, we're like we all get along. No. Because <laughs> <laughs> I'm the firstborn too. Oh. So um, sometimes I'm like, uh, I can't believe my curfew, my senior year was 9.30 p.m. and Estelle came home with a totaled car at 4 a.m. and he got to sleep eight hours undisturbed. No, see, uh, Kevin and I were kind of reversed. Oh, so you, t- so when you watch Encanto, 
You're the muscly girl. You know, which I've never seen. What but the? I could sing it, some of it. I think, can I just tell you side idea? Bef Watch some One, movies. One, I marry your brother, whatever. Fine. Sure. Yeah. Twist my arm. Yeah. Um, but uh, I want to come out with like a newsletter where it's like 10 movies a month mm. that people have to watch. Yeah. Because the other day. I, I would do that. I, well, I would watch them. Yeah, I'm hopefully. Saying. But this, <laughs> <laughs> please. But I went to a podcast yesterday and they had never seen Labyrinth with David Bowie. What? Oh my <laughs> fucking God. <laughs> have you guys seen Labyrinth with David Bowie, 1986? Thank you. Okay. There you go. There you go. She has to say it one more time. Mm -hmm. That's one of the best fucking movies. I, I mean, I obviously don't do it as well as the Muppet Angels and those. Well, they're demons, kind of. But it's fun. Jennifer that Connelly. That sounds crazy. David Bowie is the, what's he, the king? What's he called? The, I mean, like the troll. The troll king. Yeah. Mm. Tight pants. Okay. The David, tight pants. It's like young Jennifer Connelly. Like yeah, she's 13. 13? Yeah, she's 13 in that oh movie. Oh my god. So we should like... Uh, Rap? Okay, fine. No. Emily, can you pass me the pipe up? No. <laughs> I never want to I stop. I, I know. I'm very, I know. So I don't want it to end. I know. Am I what about you guys? One? You're like, no, we have a home. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Here, and the pen? Uh, I don't know what to write. This just any it. question. You can say, like, uh, uh, what dog breed is your favorite breed? Like, anything. I don't know why I said that. Um, what if I did what that? What type of TikTok are you on right now? Whatever. Um, what's your, like, favorite thing about Harry Styles? There's so many have questions. Have you ever there. soaked? Oh, if you had to choose one person to soak with, who would it be? <laughs> that's a good one. Write it down. I usually don't know what it is, but that's a good one. Okay. Uh -huh. And, and you, have to, you have to sign your name. No. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like you could do better. Oh, oh could Emily. I? Then what is it? Emily. What's another one? Because uh -huh. I have no idea. Uh -huh. <laughs> Emily, uh, what would you say? What, what was uh, one that you. If you steal the wardrobe of anyone in the world, who would it you think that's better than soaking? I question? thought that was really good. Soak, put the soak, and then no, I, I thought the wardrobe one. Put was really the wardrobe good. one, Jesus. <laughs> Jesus. Oh my God. Should I do soaking or wardrobe? You can do a one on both sides if you want. If they don't want to answer the soaking one. Okay. And I'll be like, if you pussy. had, if you soaked, if you had to soak, if you if could you soak with anybody, if you could soak, because everybody wants to. Yeah. If oh my God, I haven't written in a long time. <laughs> if you could soak. <laughs> You know that feeling? Like, I don't know how to hold a pen. Absolutely. If you could soak with one person. Yeah, who would it be? And why? And, and why? <laughs> who would it be? I mean, I'm going to ask them why. You don't have to. Who would mm -hmm. it be? And then on the other side, if you could steal anyone's closet, who would I steal? I'm like, I'm going to save it for the opportunity. I think I have an idea. Cody's. I'm <laughs> mm -hmm. You should have asked, do you really believe Cody Co ran a triathlon? <laughs> Stop. I love him he so tried much. so hard. He killed he finished. He crushed it, I know. I would have leaned into a car so an ambulance would have to come. <laughs> Where can people find you? You can find me on my YouTube channel. It's mm -hmm. just my name, Kelsey Kreppel. Kelsey Nader, stand up. Kelsey Nader, stand up. Kelsey Nader's rise up, bitch. <laughs> um mm -hmm. my podcast is called Circle Time, and my Instagram is my name as well. Wait, your Circle Time because of like kindergarten when you get around a circle? Yeah. I love that. Yeah. I told you about when I went to rehab, the best part was like group feelings. You never told me any of that. Well, I went to rehab That's for amazing. being too hot and on eating disorder. Okay, thank you guys. I will see you next episode. Bye.